What's good gang, welcome back to the channel, it's your boy Phil S2K. Right now we're in the S2K, I'm about to head out to MPs. He has some RPF ones that I kind of want to test fit on the car and see if I like. So my, my game plan is to just get some nice wheels to put on the car and use the residual money for the BMW, just to get the BMW somewhat modified, you know? Like I want to get, I want to start pushing on to the BMW and start getting everything together. So I'm gonna see how these wheels fit. If they don't fit, then I'm just gonna keep saving my money until I get something that I actually like. But these fit, it'll do for right now. So that way I'm not on these stock wheels, because the stock wheels look horrible, bro. I hate them. I hate them, especially because of the wide body. Well, the flare kit, um, it just doesn't flow with me and I don't like it. So um, I just wanna get some type of wheel that has a, li a little bit of width to it. So that way it doesn't look as bad, because right now it looks horrible. But um, I'm about to head over to MPs. I'll catch you guys on the highway. I'm running into so much traffic right now. Uh, and then the car's making all sorts of weird noises because of the fucking wheels. Oh boy, I hope I don't get stranded out here. Because I don't have any spare tires. And I don't have my jack with me. So, I don't know. I'm hoping these wheels are good because if you guys remember, I had the uh, 82 wheels on here. But my boy wanted them for his S2000 and I wasn't using them, they were just sitting in, the, in my garage. And now I kind of regret selling it. Pulled up to the shop, two GTRs, my S2000. Yo, look how weak these wheels look, bro. Y'all still rock with these or not? Nah? Okay, so I tried the RPF ones without a spacer and that's how it sits right now. Has a lot of wheel gap. Plus, this, the person that I'm buying, if I get it off of them, they're running a 215.40 tire. So I would have to run a lot bigger of a, of a, of a tire on here. But they're 17 by 9.5. Thing has OD gap. And this is it with the 10 mil spacer now. Still a lot of gap. I don't know, man. These 17s kind of look like babies on my car, too. Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna end up going with the RPF ones. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna run spacers on the front and spacers on the rear for now. And then the money that I'm basically saving from getting rid of these wheels, I'm gonna end up just using that towards the BMW. So you guys are just gonna have to get used to the RPF ones for a little while until like I'm ready to like upgrade to something better. Alright, so time to air it out. So what do you guys think? It's not that bad, right? For the time being, just rock out like this. Damn, my shit's on the floor, dog. Also, do you guys notice anything different about the S2K right now? I don't know what is missing. I've been getting ragged on it from that new video that I posted. Something's missing. What's missing? You guys comment down below and let me know. Alright everyone, so it's the next day. And just giving you guys a better look at the S2K on the RPF ones right now. So, we have two problems right now. One... I definitely need a bigger tire size because these stretch tires are not cutting it for me. Two, um, the width on these are nine and a half, but being that I'm, I have a wide body, a flare kit on the car, it doesn't, it doesn't sit the way I want it to. So the first things first, I'm probably going to leave the fronts for right now because the fronts doesn't bother me too much. I'm going to get a wider rear tire to put on here. So right now I have a, I think I believe I have like a 20 mil spacer on here and it still has a pretty huge gap. Pretty huge gap. Due to the tire size also. So I'm going to try the tires first, get a bigger spacer for the rear and see if it works. 
but for the most part I really like how it looks and I'm pretty sure by now you guys have realized what's been missing on the car and what's not on the car right now you guys give me your your opinions on what you think here's the wing right here so I took the wing off because I sold my stands to someone who wanted, you know, bigger stands. So the money that I got from now, I'm just going to buy me lowering stands for now and then go from there. I might just rock it wingless for now. So I still have the wing though. It's still there. It's just, I don't have any stands right now, but those stands are way too high for me. So that's why I was like, you know what? I'll sell it. I also noticed like, yeah, we've been jumping crazy amount of subscribers, bro. We're almost at like 20,000. I literally did 1300 in like the past like three days it's crazy to me it's blowing my mind bro so keep subscribing keep watching the videos keep supporting your boy i'm telling you new jersey we are up next i'm gonna try to put us on the map i know there's many more new jersey vloggers out here automotive vloggers out here and i know we're working twice as hard as the west coast guys so make sure you guys stay tuned watch the channel support us and support us local guys and our smaller the smaller channels too man because it's hard work out here it's hard Alright guys, so you made it to the end of the video. If you guys want me to host a meet and greet at the RPM Raceway track in Jersey City, have everyone come out, get on the go-karts and stuff like that, I'm super down to do that. Um, and I mean, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the RPF ones, it's been like two days. Um, it's Sunday today and it's been like two days and I'm kind of, I don't know, I feel like this, the, the face of the RPF ones look too small to the wide body. So I kind of want to go 18s, but I would like to see you guys' opinion. So I'm going to put this video out for you guys tonight, so that way I can make my decision tomorrow. So if you guys rock with it and you like it, comment it down below, let me know. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We're so close to 20,000 subscribers. Like I said in a clip before this, it's blowing my mind, bro. Like, watching my video almost is at like 100,000 right now. And it's like crazy to me, you know? So for those of you who've been watching me from jump street from when i first started you guys know the dedication and time i put into these videos and you know just working as hard as i can to make these videos work and just to grow the channel as a whole so it feels good man all weekend i've just been happy and smiling just watching everything just progressing just jump 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 like it's crazy so i want to keep the momentum going so i want you guys to let me know in the comment section down below all right i'll catch you guys tomorrow peace is as normal missing someone missing someone